saying hi to you. Welcome to the Jacaranda Foundation's third annual virtual gala. So now there would be fireworks and streamers, but it's all in our imagination because that's the joy of virtual right now. I mean, I could use the green screen, but why do that? We, we have we have right here. Now, depending upon where you are in the world, good morning, have your coffee with me. Good afternoon, have your champagne. This is all full of champagne, champagne with me. Good evening, wherever you are. Thank you so much for taking this hour and some change to be with us. My name is Kirsten Vangsness. I am your mistress of ceremonies. Uh, you may also know me as the technical analyst Penelope Garcia on the series Criminal Minds, which just relaunched on Paramount+. Plus. It's true. If you're uh, over the age of 13 and don't get skeezed out by things that are uh, violent, you are welcome uh, to, to watch that and prove that I'm actually on that show. Today, I am broadcasting from you to you live from um, a magical lavender palace with this tiger. Um, now, uh, I, this is a very special year for all of us to be gathered together celebrating 20 years of Jacaranda School for Orphans, which is located outside of Limbe, Malawi in Africa. 20 years. Now, this incredible place, which began from very humble beginnings out of the desire to assist children who lost parents and family members to HIV AIDS, has grown and flourished to be just so much more. And today, all of us are here right now, I get all warm and tingly thinking about it, to support this absolutely incredible nonprofit organization. So as you watch and you meet our guests and our honoree and you hear the stories of those impacted and you will inevitably feel inspired, uh, be very happy that you are part of this family called Humans. And please, you know what? Donate. Donate with your energy. Donate with your money. Donate with whatever you have and whatever amount feels good to you that feels generous to both sides using the links below and in the chat. We're going to give you plenty of opportunities to do that. In fact, and this is true. Now I found this out mere moments ago, but now I'm finding out again. I'm getting excited. We um, just received uh, this announcement that the Jacaranda Founders Board President, Michael Tarnoff, will match, like match, all donations between now and the end of the year up to $50,000, which means you give a dollar, it's two. You give a hundred, it's 200. That means your donation is going to go twice as far, which means it hits twice, probably means because of the way money and generosity works. It probably means you give that, it goes twice as much. It helps 16 times as many people. So this is the perfect time to offer your energy to the Jacaranda Foundation School for Orphans. Maria Da Silva, founder of the Jacaranda School, is going to take us through the Jacaranda journey momentarily, but I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what we're all here to support today, because you might be like, Kirsten, I watch your TV show. I have no idea what's happening. I'm going to tell you. Uh, first of all, or you or you know about Jacaranda, but it keeps evolving. So you want to know about the new things that's happening. There is a brand new Jacaranda Mullen Preschool. This early childhood education center is going to serve the youngest and most vulnerable members of the community and will give them the tools to thrive in their early years and just continue to thrive as they get taller and and their brains grow more. Then there is the Jacaranda Primary and Secondary School, which not only educates the minds of the littles, but assists with school supplies and books and uniforms for the children. And by providing these necessities, they have made it possible for thousands, thousands of orphaned and vulnerable children to attend school. And we all know that when we are in community like that in school, even if we, even if it gives us a hard time, we're like, I don't have school. It, it, being in that community is is making is making is helping your life and thereby all the people around you's lives. And then there is the Jacaranda Jan Kulzek Vocational School, which is supported by the Kulchek Foundation, which includes classrooms, a multimedia production center, including a sound studio, editing room, photo studio, TV studio, visual effects, green screen room. The Jacaranda Foundation also assists with college scholarships to selected Jacaranda School graduates. So currently, right now, 28 Jacaranda scholars attend colleges in Malawi, and six are studying in universities outside of Malawi with the help of the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship Program. Jacaranda, like, there's more. There's more. And I know you're going to be like, Kirsten, you're reading a script. I am. But I'm also excited about it. I know full well what I'm talking about. And I, I need you to, to just be aware of all the amazing things they do. So I want to make sure I have a clear, hence, script. Uh, they're more than a school. 
And, and so that in and of itself, amazing, worth us giving our attention to. In addition to educating its students and its community, Jacaranda also supports health, wellness, and creativity. So there's the visual performing arts. They serve as the backbone to the Jacaranda School. I know personally for me, I'm sure many of you have this story. The arts saved my life and continues to do that. And, and that's exactly what it does for these people here in Malawi. Every day, children participate in performing and visual arts classes supported in partnership with Madonna. I love that I get to be able to say that. And her charity, Raising Malawi. These classes enable students to express themselves and build their self-confidence and provide the most healthy emotional outlet. And then there's the Jacaranda School Clinic, which provides preventative, you know, like general preventative and immediate health care uh, needs, health education, including sexual health education, which is incredibly important. Uh, there's the Jacaranda, Jacaranda Physio Physiotherapy Community Clinic that provides care for children with disabilities. And we get to meet one of their students, Precious, a bit later in the program. Um, the Jacaranda School provides a nutrition program that ensures nutritious meals. This program is made possible by a long-term partnership with Mary's Meals, which has resulted in a dramatic improvement in the health and educational outcomes of the students. Uh, they provide home support for ch child-headed families. Think about that word, a child-headed family, which is a family that has to be headed by the child because the parents are no longer on this planet, okay? So, and families with elderly guardians or families with sick guardians, they assist with food, clothing, blankets, money for rent, microcredit loans for guardians, renovation of homes that are in severe disrepair, construction of new homes, energy efficient clay cooking stoves. The Jacaranda School teaches environmental stewardship. The Women's Entrepreneurship Program was developed to ensure that the guardians of children attending school and the physiotherapy clinic have a means of generating income and escaping the vicious cycle of poverty. And we all know that when you take care of the female entrepreneurs in a community, the whole community just gets exponentially better because the female bent of the species, we, we make a big deal out of community. There's Luke's Libraries, developed by Jacaranda Foundation Executive Director Luke Deschamps, builds, stocks, and monitors libraries in public primary schools, as well as community libraries throughout the Blantyre region of Malawi. Then there's the Jacaranda Cultural Center and Maison de la France, which provides a platform for local artists to come together and showcase Malawi's rich, rich, rich cultural heritage. In the past 20 years, Jacaranda has accomplished so much and has changed so many lives, just so many lives to the better. Not only the people that they're helping, but the people that are helping to help. Just imagine what they can accomplish with more support, with our support today. So get those credit cards and checkbooks and, and whatever you use, get ready because this holiday season, you will not find a more deserving charity. And I got to tell you, when we do this kind of generosity, it it just builds up. We 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 do it. It is altruistic, yes, but it's also at the end of the day, you're getting more out of it than anybody else can for this kind of a foundation for sure. Now, I have talked muchly. We're going to get the pro program started first. We're going to see just how far. I love hearing about this. We're going to hear just how far the Jacaranda School and Foundation has come, and then we will hear from a few of Jacaranda's friends and supporters. To kick us off, I am super privileged to introduce the woman behind all of this. Just, I'm going to say her name and sparkles are going to shoot out of my body. Uh, the Jacaranda School's founder, a CNN hero, and my dear friend, Maria Da Silva. Take it away, Marie. I came to this house on the third day that I was born. So it's a real special place for me. This is my mother. This is the exact spot where she sat. She's a really special woman whose life was just centered around her children. When I was in America and I was working as a nanny, I heard that a school in my village was closing and that they were orphans. And many of the orphans were orphaned by apes. I asked my mom if we could open this house because she was renting this house. My dad had passed and this was her only source of income. And I would reimburse her the money that she was receiving 
from her rent. In 2002, children came into the house. We had no chairs. We painted the walls black to use as blackboards. We had started off with 50 and slowly we bought blackboards, a few more chairs, books, and I was able to pay the teachers until CNN heard my story. Go nannies, you rock. From all our friends from the schools around the world that heard of my story, we gathered that money and built a secondary school, built a small clinic on the campus, we built a physics and science lab. In 2010, the first graduates graduated from secondary school and seven of them went to college. And as of today, we have around 45 students in college, 14 in universities in Africa, all doing their bachelor's degrees. This school has primary school, 95% pass rate. Secondary school, the last year of leaving certificate, we need, which is MSCE, 100%. Did I think this would be possible 20 years later? Yes, I did, because I believed that when you give the kids the tools, anything is possible. When you give the kids the love, everything is possible. When you understand kids and you listen to children, anything is possible. In this 20 years, we have then built a preschool. Then we have pediatrics physiotherapy clinic. We have over 61 special needs children who come for physiotherapy. Then we have the vocational school where we have the media, the hairdressing and beauty, dressmaking, tailoring and the carpentry, the entrepreneurship program where women from the villages come in, they take entrepreneurship classes and learn skills. We teach our kids to take care of our earth and the environment and here we plant trees and we have the Jagranda Cultural Center where artists from all over Malawi can come and showcase their arts and then we have Luke's Libraries where we donate libraries in uh, public schools, government schools and at present we have 24 libraries that Jagranda has donated through the help of our friends. We are actually reaching about 55,000 children here in Malawi. So Jagranda it's about the community and sharing the knowledge, the skills, uh, and the little that we have with the community and being partners with other schools in the community. I'm so thankful. I really, really am thankful to all those people from all over the world and in Malawi who just believed in what we were doing and still believe in what we are doing and make this happen where the children come in every day to school they get their porridge they learn they perform they play and then they go out to college and then into the world and become who they wanted to be that brings joy and we say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you to everybody who has just loved us thank you hi my name is abby land and i am a proud supporter of the jacaranda foundation and i am so glad to be with you today as we celebrate their 20th anniversary I remember when my friend John Heilman, who's on the board, introduced me to Marie, and I was instantly struck by her passion and dedication, how she just wanted to make a difference for the people in her village. And here we are, 20 years later, talk about a difference, and wow, it seems like it went by in a flash. But she and now Luke together have really made the Jacaranda Foundation something that is transforming every day the lives of children, their family, 
and their community. And I can't be more honored to be here with you all today to celebrate this amazing achievement. My job today is to talk to you about a way that you can continue to support the amazing work of the Jacaranda Foundation. So this is a gala. And what do we usually have at galas? Silent auctions. But for this 20th anniversary, we have a very special silent auction. Every gift in the silent auction is something that directly impacts the work of the Jacaranda Foundation. And there are many gifts. So if you go to the website, 32auctions.com slash Jacaranda Gala 2022, you will see some amazing ways you can help. So let me just tell you about a couple of them. So first, we're coming up to the holidays, right? So some of you are gonna buy gifts. Honestly, what do we need? Nothing. But if you go to that website, you will see that for $30, $30, you can help one child for an entire month get the education they need, get the medical care that they need, the nutrition, their clothes, $30. I bet you have 10 friends you wanna buy a gift for, right? There you go. And if you wanna do something a little bit more during these holidays and really make a signature gift to help the Jacaranda Foundation, guess what? You can buy all the equipment for the new playground they're building for their preschool. And you know how much it is? $4,000. Here in America, if you've donated $4,000, you get a swing. Here you sponsor an entire playground. There are so many opportunities. Please visit the website 32auctions.com slash Jacaranda Gaylor 2022 and give as much as you can. Every dollar you give, Marie and Luke, they make it like $30. So please give and I hope I get to see you here next year when we celebrate their 21st. Thanks so much. Hello everyone. My name is Ketura. I'm a musician from Malawi. As an artist, I love how Jacaranda believes in the art and how the children learn how to play music dancing, singing. I know how much music can help young people to grow and be happy. Jacaranda School, it's a beautiful place. Thank you so much for making it possible for me to record my album in America with Harlan and Randy Steinbaker. It was really an amazing experience and I am so grateful. Now I have a song for you called Munditengerego, which means take me there. Oh yes, Jacaranda will definitely take you there. Thank you so much and enjoy. Mundi tengere kon kaoni ko Mundi tengere kon kaoni ko Mundi tengere kon kaoni Mundi tengere Thank you. 
Hi there, everyone. It's me, Ricky Lake, and I am so honored to be here to wish Jacaranda and Marita Silva and Luke and everyone involved with the Jacaranda School and Foundation a very happy 20 year anniversary. Um, I'm also honored to say that I've been around since the beginning. I was lucky enough to have Marie Da Silva by my side to help me in raising my two sons, Milo and Owen. And I was there from the beginning of the start of the school when it was an idea in her head and to see where it is now, to see all the children that have been educated and just and fed and nourished and uh what they've gone on to do the artists the just the doctors and nurses and all of the amazing amazing people that come out of this school marie you are magic i love you so so much i am in awe of all you've done and you remind me and everyone that it just takes one person one what one person can do with belief in themselves and perseverance and and a beautiful heart. So happy anniversary, Jacaranda. I love you, Marie. I love you, Luke. And sending all my love to everyone back in Malawi. Mwah. That gets me every time. Fills me up. You get those little tingly bits up your arm. It's happening right now. Up where you like realize that like we're all these little energetic beings and we can be all different places. We can all feel each other. And the story of the Jacaranda School gets inside of me every time. Marie, you are, you are, you're magic. And it just, it makes us all feel like how, how possible we all are to help ourselves, to help each other. And Katura, Katara, 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 I was listening and now the mind dyslexia has kicked in. Uh, but how amazing is she? I, I'm super into that song. I was videoing it. I was like, oh wait, I can look it up after. I can't wait until I can listen to this whole album. Shout out to Randy and Harlan Steinberger for helping to make that happen. Take me there, Jacaranda School. We're all getting taken there today. Today, church is on Jacaranda School. We all get to behold this spiritual pleasure together. Um, Now, how I came to know uh, the Jacaranda Foundation is that my friends, John Heilman, who I think is watching this right now, hi, uh, and uh, Lindsay Burger Sachs, hi, hi, hi. Uh, they're, they, I know them from separate worlds. Well, no, Lindsay introduced me to them. Anyway, so I know them. And then they said, come to this, will you go to this gala? It was basically John. John was like, come to this. And John is the guy. Oh, and Abby, Abby Land. When, once they're at things, then you're like, I want to go there. And then there are people there. You meet like Maria and you meet like Ricky Lake. And you're like, oh, these people are so cool. I want to go to there. All these different, you're like, I, you know, you get there and you're like, all of these people are magic. And then I met a bunch of the students and, um, I, and talked to everybody. And it was like, ah, oh, this is the kind of thing where you're like, you're giving of the money that you earn. And it's really going to like-minded people who who know that we're in this big human family and and it's all about making it better for all of us because we're only as privileged as the least privileged among us so it's all fine and good to enjoy all your nice stuff but if everybody doesn't have a warm place and a and a cooler place and a thing to eat and a place to sleep it's not very fun if you have it at least that's that's how i roll and they roll like that which is why it was such a joy to participate in and then they can't get rid of me so 
Uh, this is very important. This all just came in. The auction items are going fast and donations are rolling in and keep on donating. If something goes, don't worry. We can, trust me, we can do wonderful things with your money. And remember, your money is matched. It's matched. It's matched. So thank you to Heather Kuhn. And forgive me, I'm going to, I'm just taking a little, some little knives and chopping up everybody's names. But remember, my name is Kirsten Bangsness. And if you call me Kristen Varness, I will respond. So Marcella Spinotti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marcella. Thank you. Claudia Blake, Jessica Orenstein, Macy Sherrick, uh, Corey Roskin, Carrie Malkin, Russell D'Italia, Marilyn Malkin. That was in caps. Maybe that's how she spells it. Michelle King, Rocco Bannon, Joseph Hardstone, Ian Greenstein, Abby Land, Dietland Pabst, Kath Katharina Koch, Cindy Handler, Linda Leb Lebovitz, Clay Charter, Che, Che Carter, Melissa Jane Johansson, Dora Farkas, and everyone else. It's coming in. It's coming in. Who is generously giving to Jack Granda right now? You are changing lives, and thereby you are changing your own life. And that I, I love the positive change. This is how we do it. Do these little mini actions that change everything up. And, and that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. Now, has everyone clicked on the link? Do you see the link? That's the link for the auction. It is popping up, right? Do you see it? Right there, okay? And, and, and right along there. And it's also in the chat. So go click it. Also a dyslexic. So no idea where that chat is to you, but click it. Click it. You can click click that. Do you know it makes your hair more lustrous? You People always wonder, how do you have so much energy, Kirsten? Doing stuff like this, giving to things like this. You click that thing. You could be one of the lucky ones who gets to visit the lodge at the Jacaranda School during the next year and have the Jacaranda students be your tour guide. You could be one of the lucky ones to donate to the Jacaranda School. Oh, wait, that's the power is in your hands to do that. Take the power. Take the power. Okay, now. We are all dreaming of visiting Malawi right now. We kind of are because we're all participating in the spirit of Malawi by being here right now. These young kids are just making the Jacaranda School match their energy. Their energy is magic. Jacaranda School energy is magic. Uh, they have a brand new preschool uh, and and right there to the physiotherapy clinic. I I, I We're about to behold some things that I don't know if any of us are prepared for the sweetness. Let's prepare. Are you prepared? You prepared for some major deliciousness right now? Because uh, we got it coming your way next. You are about to meet someone named it. Like there are names, like my name fits me, right? I don't know why, but Kirsten fits me. You're about to meet someone who's, whose name fits them perfectly. Please meet Precious. Watch this. Here at Jacaranda School for Orphans, we do have students that are physically challenged. One of the children is Precious in Kandawire. He's from the Kotima village. He's 12 years old and he's in standard six. What market we have? <laughs> yes. Jumbuma market. Here at Jacaranda, we mostly see children who are physically challenged from the age of um, some months old, you can say zero to 18 years old, that's the limit. Precious is 14 years old. He was born a premature birth. So sometimes a uh, premature birth causes immaturity of the brain as well. So when he, he was coming here, Precious was not able to see, not even stand, walk and everything. But after physiotherapy, Precious now is now able to sit by himself. He can move from lying position up to sitting position by himself and he can maintain the, the sitting by himself. And he is now also able to use his hands. At first it was, he couldn't even grab a thing. Now he's able to just grip something and manipulate it. Even though you know the coordination is a bit challenging because of the, the, the condition that he has, but at least he's now able to do that. I 
pour les gens qui sont en train de Ah, ils sont en train de se faire. Ah, ils sont en train de se faire. Ils sont en train We are John and Ann Mullen. I refer to Ann as my current wife of 57 years. Um, and uh, we are Mark Mullen's parents. We got to know a bit about Malawi because of Mark's travels. And so when we heard that there's some things going on there, we thought, hmm, we should help if we can. We were introduced to the Jacaranda School by an artist friend in, uh, Long, on Long Island named Kryn Olson, who was going to be working there for a summer. and. Uh, she said, it's in a small country called Malawi. She introduced us to Marie and Luke, and we were just fascinated by the wonderful work that the school does. When uh, it came out that they really needed a preschool, we jumped on that. And Mark's final sentence to us was, I always tell everybody I meet that Malawi is the best country to visit in Africa and the best country to live in because of the people. Nziku Ndi Antu, which he says is the nation is the people. So we, we are blessed to uh, be able to help Luke and Navari uh, to continue on uh, after their 20 years of doing fabulous, fabulous work for uh, uh, the, the young people of Malawi, the country, and the truth of the matter is doing good work for our world. So here we are at the preschool. What it is about this preschool is to, to get the kids ready with everything, motor skills. When the kids arrive here, they are not able to speak a word of English. Uh, or identify letters and numbers. But now when they go into Senate 1 and 2, they'll be at a different level uh, at uh, Jacaranda because for the last 20 years, we never had a preschool. So when the children come to Senate 1, they're in this stage. But now it's, it's going to be different uh, until they complete their um, primary school and then go to secondary school and they'll be stronger students. We have seen amazing wonders that the children here who are graduating, the eight children, can literally write their names, um, identify letters and numbers. From here, these eight kids are going to come to Jacaranda Standard 1 and 2, which is primary school.
Happy anniversary to you. Hi. Uh, congratulations, Marie. Ever since I met you, I was obsessed with you. And when I learned about your story and, oh, the place that you're from and how you always had this dream to go back there and, and make your childhood home into what is now Jacaranda and all of the kids that you have nurtured and have risen up like... The phoenix from the flames, from adversity comes the strongest trunks and other metaphors for things that are beyond the words that I can come up with. And I'm humbled by you. I'm humbled by all of the kids that have come through Jacaranda and gone on to university and all of the programs that you've done and all of the art that you've done. I love you. We love you, Jacaranda School. Congratulations, Marie. Come here, Rocky. Congratulations, Happy everybody. anniversary. We love you. All the kids at Jacaranda, we, we love you. We live with you in our hearts, and, and we wish you all the best of everything, especially health, strength, happiness, love, light. Two, two, two. Peace. 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 We love you. Hmm. I, I don't think I'm the only one who's having this experience right now, but I'm having this experience right now. And I heard um, John and Ann Mullen, they said something that I think is really important. They were thanking Marie and Jack Aranda. I'm getting choked up, you guys. Um, and it's not a hormonal. Someone would say, Kirsten, it's hormones. Hormones. No, this is real. This is what I just watched. Um, I think that's my inner child saying that. Anyway, this is what happens when you film by yourself. <laughs> in your house. But I want to say this, that they said they were thanking Marie, right? For letting them donate. And why that's important. And we need to realize what that means is that we need to know that there are people, if there's a Marie, that means everywhere where you live, that means inside your own body, there are helpers like that. And remember what Mr. Rogers says, we always look for the helpers. Whoa, is Marie and Luke are just like the, the most, and I, I mean, the whole Jack Randa school, everyone who works there, the, everyone who participates in that, those are like big helpers. And we need to help the helpers help other people because when we do that, it, it grows all the, the helpers. I mean, Precious was not even supposed to be able to walk. And I just saw him dancing and, and it's 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 a celebration of just the diversity of things that we can do with with yes adversary ad, ad adverse ad, adverse conditions but also like we all have those adverse conditions someone might have it more than you i think that precious he would probably say yes i would like to walk but that does not abstain me from joy, you know? And that's what's so important about this, this glorious, beautiful place that has a lot of obstacles that were, when you remove those obstacles, what can happen? Uh, those little graduates, see the little, the little ones? Um, oh, and and that John and Ann Mullen help, is helping that preschool at Jacaranda. And you can help too by going to that 32 auctions. We all know how important it is to start young for academics and socialization. I mean, that's where it all starts, right? Right. That beginning part. Um, and those littles doing that and knowing that there are people that got their back, not just there, but from afar, because we can feel that when people, when people are loving on us from afar, I can feel your love on me from afar. So I know that happens and how lovely we just got to hear from pa Pamela Alden speak from the heart and from, I think Valentine was her daughter, Rocky Valentine. Um, uh, to share why the Jacaranda School is an important place to support. Uh, it, and it's just that Jacaranda is here for their students every step of the way. They're here for humans every step of the way. Now, this just did. I need to make some shout outs of people. I'm very emotional right now. You know, just that we have the pleasure of participating in this. Isn't that beautiful that we have the pleasure of doing that, that we have the ability? I just, okay, let's talk about people who are ex having some radical pleasure right now by participating. Annette Toro, Talia Wood, Corey Roskin, Mary Canham, Lisa Delgan, uh, Katerina Koch, Sarah Acosta, Che Carter, Dwayne Jones. 
Austin Capitals. Sarah Mitchell, Zylvia Sator, Sally Kiss Christina, Claudia Bake, Ricky Lake, Marla Michael, Sarah Acosta, Teresa De Silva, Anders Bannock, Ollie Winderman, Brian Archimod, Tempe Zucker, Laura Donnelly, and all of you, every single one of you, that you right there who's clicking that auction donation link right now. There it is. Do you see it? There it is. You can click it. You can click it. Make your life better. Next up, I know your mind's already blown. Just it, the more you blow them, the more your minds are, you know, blown up, the the bigger, the more expansive your life is. So let's make our lives more expanded. We're going from preschool to college. You will see how Jacaranda has partnered with MasterCard Foundation to provide college scholarships to students. Thank you, MasterCard. Now I know that by using you for important things like lip gloss, you are helping others. To make sure these students do not stop reaching the stars when they leave, the Jack Aranda School. And then stay tuned. We're all going to hear from Jack Aranda's 2022 honoree, Hubert Lachty Slichter, uh, coming to us all the way from Poland via Hungary, where he has several amazing restaurants. Are you ready? Here we go. We're off. We have seen the education arc of Jack Aranda is now from preschool to primary school, secondary school, and then college scholarships for our graduates from secondary school which I find amazing because from Mary's family house, from Mary's and her sister's bedroom, her brother's bedroom, her parents' bedroom and the living room, uh, we have now grown and developed a school uh, where students graduate from primary, secondary, but also graduate with a level that allows them to compete with international students. Today, we have 14 students uh, who have won scholarships, MasterCard Foundation scholarships for international colleges in Africa. So, for instance, we now have 10 students at United States International University uh, in Nairobi, Kenya. We have students uh, in Zimbabwe, in Zambia, in Mauritius Island, and in Botswana. What's also very beautiful is to see that these students who are now in international colleges are carrying with them, within them, the culture and the spirit of Jacaranda. What they have learned in here at Jacaranda School during all these years in primary and secondary, they bring it to them in college. For instance, the spirit of sharing, the spirit of helping one and another, and the spirit of community and giving back. Um, so now I invite you to listen to some of the voices of a few of our students uh, who are currently with MasterCard Foundation scholarships in international colleges throughout Africa. My name is Harry Golio. And I'm a former scholar of Jacaranda primary and secondary school. From there, I also went to one of the colleges in Malawi, Nasit. And um, I had my studies there before leaving for Mauritius. So I've uh, spent my time in Mauritius for about two years now. And now I'm back. And it has been an incredible journey with Jacaranda. And right now, I'm still doing my college studies. I am going into my third year of uh, computing studies, which is, of course, all thanks to Jacaranda. I studied school at Jacaranda in 2016, and uh, I did all my four years in secondary school at Jacaranda School. And my life and the experience at Jacaranda has been quite amazing. Uh, I can say it has been quite amazing, you know, because like me as a young boy growing up in a, in a society, in a community, I never thought like one day I'll, I'll be in such a big university or such a big institution like USIU, but Jacaranda made it possible. It's really a great and wonderful experience now that I'm at the university where even my parents cannot afford it. Oh, thank you, of course, to Jacaranda for getting me this scholarship. I uh, just want to thank Jacaranda for what it has done to me, like for the years I've been at Jacaranda. I remember I started school at Jacaranda in 2016 when I was in Standard 7, then no, Standard 8. Yeah, and until now, uh, Jacaranda has been providing me a lot. MasterCard is giving me everything. I also like the school, SIU. It's really beautiful. The library is really big. That everyone can afford it. I'm really thankful for my life has changed. I joined SIU through Jacaranda, which helped me a lot in my studies, starting from Form 2 up to Form 4. I graduated. After I graduated, I was given an opportunity to apply for MasterCard, which I was picked, which is helping me a lot in my life. Now my, my life has really changed from past years and now it's totally different. Now I, I, I see myself when I look back and look into my life and what I've changed in my life, I've changed in many ways. 
I came here through a scholarship sponsored by Mastercard Foundation. I knew Mastercard scholarship through Jakalanda, which has been supporting me all the way from my high school, and it also helped me to apply for the scholarship. It was a tough journey, but Jakalanda was always there for me, and luckily enough, I got selected to join the university. I'm really thankful to Jakalanda and Mastercard Foundation for their support in my education journey. Talk about the experience which is um, in Kenya at the university, such a great experience which I never thought I would be exposed to in my life. And uh, we also have uh, great food, like the food which we eat at the campus is so great. I never thought I could even eat such kind of food in my life. So I just wanted to thank Jakalanda for, expo for exposing me to this scholarship because we applied to Jakaranda. That's why we are here in Kenya and I just want to thank Mastercard Foundation as well for the great opportunity they have given in my life. I started learning at Jakaranda when I was standard four. That's grade four to my form four. My, I was raised by a single parent as my father died when I was five years old. From then Jakaranda has been my help. I never had to pay school fees or or buy any school uniforms for because everyone everything was provided for free. I'm now at university thanks to Jacaranda and Mastercard Foundation. Without these two, I I don't know where I would be and I don't know how I would have finished my education. They are help, they have helped me pursue my dreams. Whosoever is helping Jacaranda and whosoever is always keeping a penny to help us, we are very grateful and thankful for everything that you do. I'm studying at University of Botswana. I'm in my third year doing the Bachelor of Science in Cytotechnology and Histotechnology. I would like to thank Jacaranda Foundation for the support which they gave me when I was starting my secondary school. Finally, I just want also to thank Mastercard Foundation, which is sponsoring me now. Thank you. So I'm going to say something about Hubert. We met Hubert a couple of years ago. He came to Malawi with his partner, who was helping at our main hospital, Queen Elizabeth Hospital, doing operations for free. And then Hubert decided to come to Jacaranda and cook us some goulash, which was very delicious. Hubert, when he visited Jacaranda, brought us lots of donations. But what really caught my heart was that he then sat with me and said, Marie, is there anything else that I could do? So, I thought about the children that we have at Jacaranda. They come from an orphanage where they didn't have a brick fence around their home. And this was a big problem for them. So, I asked him and within a few months, the brick fence was built. And during this Ukraine war, he has taken some refugees to work in his restaurant. Hubert is a man that has a huge heart not just for Jacaranda alone, but for the world. So 2022, we chose to honor Hubert. Here are the children from the Bahasi orphanage who are students of Jacaranda. Thank you, because now they have a brick fence and are safe and secure. Thank you, Hubert. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hubert here. I'm a restauranter and uh, I'm also a founder of a small foundation in Budapest, which is Helping Angel uh, Foundation, Shagitu Angelok Olapitvai. And uh, I'm here to stop for a second. And because if there is a celebration, like this amazing 20th anniversary, which I'm very honored to be able to be part of it. And thank you, Mary and Luke and Jacaranda Foundation and everybody who is helping them. I remember the first day when they took me to a Jacaranda Foundation and this beautiful big gate opened up. I remember the first faces when they, this gate was open and I just remember the huge smile I was cooking a few days later for the kids. And, uh, and I learned that these kids in Malawi, they sometimes they don't eat meat for maybe once a year or two times a year. So I decided to cook a goulash, a Hungarian goulash soup. And I also had the opportunity to make some presentations for the kids. And I have to say that I was really shocked that these kids, they were listening. They were making all the questions, the sensitivity of these questions and, um, and the intelligence was just so amazing. So it wasn't, you know, possible to think that these kids are orphans. 
And actually, if I think about it now, these kids are not orphans because they have a mother and a father, which is Marie and Luke. These parents are giving the best what a parent can give to their child because I'm going to be a parent soon, I hope. And all I want is to give them security and knowledge. Chakra the Foundation, it's not just the school for orphans, it's so much more. They're really, really opening up different kind of schools, different categories, kindergarten, physiotherapists, treatments, academy for music, for art, everything. It's just incredible and they, they end up in the best universities. It's just fantastic. So I'm very pleased uh, what you do and the transparency. For me, it was very important to collaborate with Jacaranda Foundation and help other orphanages. And uh, Marie became my, my African mother and uh, I really love her. And uh, I really look up to you and what you do is incredible. I just wish you at least 20 more years to be able to do this because you change uh, many people's lives, including mine because I've learned myself a lot from you and I really look up to you and I love you. Mm. I mean, Hubert, right? I'm all, I'm all hot and weepy uh, in a good way. He is a man of many talents and also a man with a huge heart, which is interesting because I heard Marie, she said, what caught my heart. Did you hear that? And when we think about heart and like, how much we want, everybody wants their heart to be full. We so can sometimes look like, well, my neighborhood needs this. So why am I giving to all the way over there? When we put walls up, like little brick things around, like, no, I only give to my people or me or whatever. You're actually restraining that to come to you too. We want a full blast of love coming from both directions, right? And, and Hubert is on full blast. Marie is on full blast. Let's get on full blast where we're where we're not only giving generously to ourselves, but to the people in our main community out there in the big way, all of it. I want to personally thank you, Hubert, for your support of Jack Randa over the years. It's it's warming to us all and for joining us here today. Uh, your dedication and your love for the Jack Randa School is palpable. Um, and I'll definitely be visit visiting your Michelin star restaurant in Babel the next time I'm in Budapest. Coming up. We have another, we're full of treats, you guys, everything. Treat after treat, nonstop generosity of treat. We get to see more of the students of the Jack Randa School and not just the little ones or the newly graduated, but the grownups who have joined from the Women's Entrepreneurship Program. Oh, look, what's that? It's a donation link that I know you just want to touch. If you're like, Kirsten, I already touched it. Touch it again. Why not? People need presents. It's, it's holiday time and everybody has everything. So you give them this and then you like also like you give them like, look, I did this for you. And then also here's a, a hand massage. And then it's like you gave the one of the weirdest, greatest presents ever. The Jacaranda Foundation's mission. Here it is. It's to empower the whole community. Not just the kids. And with their help and yours too, the students' caregivers are becoming successful, self-sufficient business owners, which in turn provides a stable home environment for the students and creates a beautiful circle of change for everyone, period. Uh, plus, we get to say hello again to Ruben. Anyone who has been at one of our galas in the last two years will remember the beloved Ruben. We all know Ruben, right? First in Colorado, then in France, now back in Malawi, working at the Jacaranda School. Also, we cannot end this program without a peek into what the students have been up to for the year in their art and music program, because the stuff that they express makes makes you go like, I want to go dance too. We're getting close to unlocking our five, 5K, 50K, 50K, 50K matching gift. Here we go. I got more thanks. Samuel Borelli, Yuval Bar Zemmer, Noreen Delgan, Melissa Jane Johansson, Scott Wilde, Melanie Couch, Sherry Sparks, Sharon Richter, Kelly Mobley, Patricia Rossini, Bonnie Lynch, Robin Merrill. Look, there it is. That's how you do it. Sarah Lieberman, Charlene Lombardo, Stephanie Tideman, Christina Quant, and Gabriel Gilliam. If you made a donation or purchased an auction item and I have not met, I haven't mentioned you. That's me. That's me sending thank you energy. Do you feel it? Thank you. Thank you. Even if you're like, I just not got any money right now. I just got to send energy. I get it. Send it to the Jack Randa. Good job. And while we're talking about the arts, because I just made some art that way with my imagination, can you help provide art supplies to the students through the silent auction? Kirsten, how do I do that? Where do I donate? It's not there right now. Oh, there it is. See right there. Okay. Let's not forget about the link below me. 
as well as watching these kids. Remember, we all have these, we're all these little people inside of us. So when we're watching them, we're watching us and they're watching, like we're, we're, we're providing, that's who we are. Like, so get, get joyous about what the human family does. Watch these children and their magical insides. Ready? Here we go. Let's go. My name is Ruben Salima, a Jaganda school graduate. I studied at Jaganda in grade two and graduated in grade 12 in 2018. Thanks to Jaganda, I've been to California, New York, and China. I spent a semester in college in Colorado, and I recently got back from France, where I was studying media. I am currently helping at Jaganda in the media department as a way of giving back. To me, Jaganda is so much more than a school. It is an agent of community change. For instance, with the entrepreneurship program that helps women grow their businesses and become financially independent. One of them is my grandma. I'm happy for the progress she has made so far. And I love that she enjoys developing her business. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, allow us to introduce the video on our vocation school and entrepreneurship program as we are celebrating Jacaranda 20th anniversary. Happy 20th anniversary. This is the vocational school. So what we do with the entrepreneurship program is we teach women business skills. We mostly target the vulnerable women in the villages, the parents, the guardians, to the children at the Jacaranda School for Orphans, at the preschool, at the physiotherapy clinic. We usually empower them with this business knowledge and training. So it's a six months course, totally free. They teach them how to start up a business, how to maintain it, how to keep it going. After the six months, we give them a microcredit loan. And then after one month, we visit them and check on how they're doing. After that, we ask them to pay back the loan without interest. And when they pay back that money, it goes to helping other women that come under the program. Understand how one's perceptions of capital can either Kumana <laughs> So recently we introduced the skills aspect of the whole program. They learn different skills from tailoring to cosmetology and we encourage them to apply that into a business strategy that they might want to start up. My name is Dadama Window, and I've been at Jagranda since grade 6 to grade 12. And Jagranda sent me to college where I did the course of cosmetology. Now I'm working at um, vocation. I'm teaching cosmetology. Zina anga ndi na ri na fega mfunga. Kunoti na bwana yoyi linga jo puzila za hair dressing and saloni. Gamaliza mafuna na zase kule saloni anga. Nicho linga jo ndi zape za kena gagi.
anniversary, Jacaranda. Happy 20th anniversary, Jacaranda School. I want to wish Marie and Luke and everyone at Jacaranda School a very, very happy 20th anniversary. Thank you so much for supporting the youth and the arts. Hi Marie, hi Luke, Muli Buanji, bonjour. Greetings from London here. Just wishing you all a happy 20th anniversary. You both do such a fantastic job. Bye. Hey Jacaranda, standing here at Ridley College in the beginnings of a snowstorm. You can hear the bells in the background. Anyway, happy 20th anniversary. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jacaranda. Ou em português, parabéns. Muito parabéns. We, we hope you have a wonderful day celebrating all the extraordinary oh. things that you've done and oh, um, all the people whose lives that you've touched Maybe. and shaped and transformed. Mm -hmm. Your legacy goes so deep. Happy Jacaranda anniversary from Pat and Gosha, California. Alles Gute von der ISS! Happy, happy, I'm all emotional again. Happy 20th anniversary, Jacaranda. Can you, can you see how loved you are? Do you feel it? Do you feel it? I feel it. Do you feel it? I feel it. We love you, Maria and Luke. We love you. Uh, what an honor. I mean, that's not, every time I do this, I'm like, oh yeah, I'd love to do it. It's great because I believe in it. Blah, 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 blah. Then you do it and you just like giving to this. You realize, oh, this is just for me. Like, it's just what an honor, right? To be here, to get to listen to these stories, to learn about this profound impact the Jack Rana Foundation has had the people that are involved, what a profound impact they have. You right there for being here, you have a profound impact. So thank you to you. We hope that you are considering, if you haven't already, gone one step further to support the school by contributing to the auction. Look at it. So pretty. This is my, see it? I love it. If you haven't already, supporting the school is supporting the dreams and goals of these incredible students in Malawi, thereby supporting your dreams and goals. So we help one other person and we say, I believe in your capacity to, to expand. We're saying, I believe in my own capacity to expand. And I am open to receiving because I am open to giving. Look at that. We are feeling this love today. Okay. We've done so many things. I got to go over to a different thing to because it's so live. It's so live. It can't even be on a Google Doc, okay? But guess what? We did it right now. Remember I said end of the year, it's matched? Yes, but we just did it, okay? Because this just in. We have reached our fundraising goal of 50, 50K. 50K, ladies and gentlemen and people, and unlock the matching gift from Michael Tarnoff right now. Hooray! We've done it. Okay, shout out to the Fallon people to help us make that uh, goal. Here we go. I got to switch over. Okay, Chrissy Jones. I'm emotional. This is wonderful. Jenna Getlinger. Saba and Planet Rise. So uh, more. Stephen Tarnoff. Zilzia Suter. Crystal Anderson. Joanne Staten. Eric Leitler. Uh, Andrew Tarnoff. Scott Archimont. Arch Jim Bowd, Joanne Staten, Samuel Vasquez, Ken Seeley, Joan English, Darlene Fujuki, Fukuji, 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 John Heilman, Tish Gales, Pickett, Dwayne Jones, Corey Planet, Jennifer Lake, Mar Malgor Zada, Lorenz, Daisy Belfield, Santos, Alan Polak, Mary Canham, Alicia Bennett, Benedetto, Alicia. Uh, Alicia, uh, and Carlock, Lord, Lord de Champs and, uh, everybody, everybody, everybody. If I have not said your name, uh, this is me saying your name. I just said it. Use your imagination. Okay. Um, wait, there's more, there's more, wait, there's more, there's more. Yes, there's more. Here we go. I'm just getting word. Okay, that even more board members have been inspired and are stepping up with additional matching funds. So our new goal to meet is a matching grant of $15,000. That means, you, again, our donations go twice as far. Can we get $15,000 more 
in support. So if you haven't yet, can you do that? That would be wonderful. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That would be wonderful. Think of all the Jack Randa Foundation things that could happen in this coming year with your contribution, the meals, the shoes, the arts, the academics, the healthcare, uh, all, all of that, uh, that 130, so general, all with, I'm just, because they're typing it right now. And all of it just, okay. And all just $130,000 that all of us together have generously donated by all of you wonderful people. Click on the auction link, click on the donate button. Forget what I, I mean, not forget. We're going to try to raise an additional 15K, but what if we raise more? We just want to raise it. So just don't, just, just click that. Don't worry about 15K might sound big to you. Just, just, just press that and donate whatever you can because we can do this. All of you, and, and we have until the end of the year. So get on it. We've got time, but do it right now. But we have time, but do it right now. <sighs> Every single one of you, little creatures out there, thank you. Thank you to all of you watching this video after the live gala. All of you watching the, it right now. Well, time expands and contracts technically is happening at the same time. So if you're watching it later, you're watching it now because now is now. So I'm with you right now. And I say thank you right now because this matching gift is good through the end of the year. So you still have time no matter when you're watching it. You still have time. I don't care if you watch it in February. You still have time. Go, go, go to the jackarandafoundation.org. Donate it up. Um, thank you all for joining the Jack Randa Foundation's 2022 Gala. We're just so grateful for your time, your love, your support, your energy. I can feel it. I swear to you, it is palpable. So thank you for that. On a Sunday morning, no less, please stay in touch on Facebook, on Instagram. Sign up for the mailing list at jackarandafoundation.org. Our friends around the globe just mean the world to us because we are all the world like Quincy Jones taught us. Cheers to another fabulous 20 years of the Jack Randa Foundation School. I I am just, I just sit over here with my popcorn and my joy waiting to see what comes next. Signing off, your cheerleader extraordinaire, Kirsten Banks. Is. XOXOXO, XO, we're out. Mm -hmm.